Halo. This is a live broadcast. Um, so it take a few minutes to enjoy our social time. So if you want to fast forward, feel free. This is an actual working studio. Right now, I'm going to make a little bit of yellow ochre casein. By using the casein emulsion from Jack Richardson. Very thick and mucusy. Yeah. Hi, Gail. Making some more yellow ochre. Probably too much, but that's okay. I'll make sure it's mixed up. I think while I've got this going, I'm just going to make some more. That didn't make quite as much as I thought it would. Here is the pigment, dark yellow ochre from Earth Pigments. Put a little water in first. And that helps keep the pigment from flying around. Yeah. Whoops. That's not good. That's the separated stuff. I've been storing it on upside down. Let me see if I can get some. It's so viscous, viscous. Hey, Giovanna. 
it's shaking a little bit now that I've gotten some of it out. So let's put a little. I want to make sure I get the thick stuff. I'm making up a little yellow ochre casein. Mm -hmm. Helps if you don't do this and then pour it out of the bottle. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm a train wreck so far today. That was from when I stuck the thing in there to get some of it to come out. Okay. Now, we've got our yellow ochre. This is in jar won't win the award, but it works. It will work. Let's get rid of some of that right there. Some of this right here. Clean up as you go. Now! Let's see who's here. The first one that comes to mind, I'll, be, um, I'll just ask about the benefits of casein or the differences in other mediums. It's a water-based medium, um, but after time, and it may take three or four weeks, a month, whatever, this becomes totally permanent, and you cannot remove it unless you get aggressive with ammonia or something like that. So these have existed, or this medium has existed for millions of years, even back to the cave days, because of that property. The milk protein uh, makes it permanent. Um, it's similar to wash, but different. <laughs> I got, may need that. Um, this has a little more consistent application than gouache does. Gouache has a tendency to be thin. I'm using a thinned casein to get layers of color. Um, you can use it a little bit like oil. If you're on a firm substrate, you can actually apply it 
and you know leave bar strokes. Um, but you said temper, so I'm not real sure about that. However, it is so meticulous because it dries real, real quick. So people use t tiny brushes, and uh, it's a fairly slow. It's it's tiny, but it's got lots of stuff going on. So there's egg tempera. It's nothing like acrylic. Um, acrylic is a plastic and acrylic polymer. Um, well, the other thing, this this is like gouache in that it's totally matte. See, I've got lights all around here, and you can't see any. You can see it in the background. See that light flashing, but not here. I guess well, you can see light changing, but you're not seeing spotlights. Let me quit doing it that way. Yeah, that's like changes. But anyway, um, other than that, you know, I really don't know. All mediums use the same pigment. All mediums use the same brushes. Um, you know, with exceptions, finer exceptions like uh, real hair brushes and watercolor because they hold a whole lot of water. So you can cover a lot of surface with the washes, which watercolor is known for um, so same the only thing that's different in all the mediums is the binder watercolor uses gum arabic um, casein uses milk protein emulsion egg tempera uses the yolk of an egg oil uses oil soft pastels use gum tarragant which is similar to gum arabic just enough of that material to hold it into a stick form. Um, what did I miss? Encaustic uh, uses beeswax for a binder, but the very same pigment. That's why sometimes I think it's better to buy these little jars of powder. Because um, I could make any pigment I want with this. If I wanted oil color, I could add oil. Um, I don't think you can quantify much more than that. Does that kind of answer your question, or did I bring up new ones? Okay. I don't think this one dries out as well. I know it doesn't. Because I've had these, I just refill them when they're empty. I don't put a whole ton of them in there like I do oil. But uh, wash will crack. And this kind of turns into a gum, kind of uh, hard, but a solid. Does that make sense? Um, so in that, yes, it's different. It's easier to work with out of a palette than gouache is. Gouache makes a mess when you um, put it in a palette, in my opinion. I know there are people who swear by it. Hmm. My pad's not coming on. They swear by gouache in the palette, but I love it. Um, it's fresh out of the tube. Let me check and see if, oh, that's down here. Hang on a minute, I've got. Mechanical problems. That explains it. My pad was unplugged. Okay. Now, whoever kicked, kicked her out, 
Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Gail, it's got a wonderful smell um, of a faint, spicy. I described it once as an old man's bar, a, a traditional barbershop. But if it's that, it's very faint. And that does go away with time. So there's that. If you've got any um, powders, use them. Just buy yourself some of the casein emulsion. Um, I got this at I didn't do a very good job mixing that uh, matter and mix it as I use it. I got it at Amazon. So, you know, you could, you could get by, if you have powders, you could get by with a bottle of the emulsion and a big tube of white because like oil painting, you use a lot of white. Okay. Did I say hi, Joycey? Hi, kitty. Yeah, kind of like bay rum. It's just, but it's just real faint. And when I smell it, I, I just, I want more of it. Um, of course, you'll find people that don't like it, you know, everywhere. But it's not even strong enough to stay in your nose, you know. I like it. I think everything has an odor. Pastel doesn't. Encaustic smells like beeswax. Oil smells like regular old cooking oil like you get in the kitchen. Watercolor watercolor paper smells like wet dog if you're using 100% cotton. Pastels don't have a smell because there's nothing liquid anywhere. The, the gum that they use um, dries, I guess. Okay, what have I got to show you? Another one stands from AliExpress. I think they were like, I got them off Amazon and I paid $2 for the stamp and $2.50 for the shipping. And I had to wait four weeks. So from now on, I'm going to skip that that looks like a good deal on the surface and just go straight to AliExpress and pay $2 and be done. But anyway, it's got some cute stuff on there. What else? What else? What else? Y'all were here Tuesday, so I know you saw what we did then. I guess I'm ready to paint. Oh, yeah. Arches. Fabriano. The, the, and probably more with 300 pound. And probably more when you really get it wet. I mean, like soak it in the bathtub. There are people who do that. All right. I'm mixing some white in that yellow ochre. I'm learning a new software it's called Adobe Capture. Where I can see if I get back to it. I can zoom, zoom right in on something. Looks nasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And like all Adobe products, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now. But it actually spots the colors for me. Come on. And then I can stop it. I can freeze it. But look at the difference here. I mean, yeah. 
So I'm quite a bit darker than this one color. So a couple of glazes will help. Um, let's see how to go. Damn it. I think I'm too old on this stuff, kids. Now I want to go to. Mm -hmm. I can't get to it. It's in the library. Hang on, I'll figure it out. Just wanted to show you. I mean, it wasn't any big deal. What's the date today? Screenshots. Nope, don't want that. Okay, I give up. Anyway, that's just another tool to use. Let me get you back on. Uh, I'm getting in the mood to paint. Now, this is a different, um, Kitty, this is um, Adobe Capture. There's about 10 or 15 of them, and this one has a few more features. See the other one that's a good one. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I've been searching for these for a long time. I even tried Pantone, but it was a little bit more geared to um, paint, wall paint. Color Snap is a, a good one. I don't know how. I don't know how to use that one either. I've used it, but I've forgotten how. So there's Color Snap. Mm, I'm painting. I got to get this organized. I don't really want to take a photo, but. Okay, here we go. So it's, now let's compare that. So, you know, it's, like I said, it's just another tool. I love it, but um, I haven't taken the time to really work with it yet. So. I think I've got color grab, but I don't remember. Yeah, you know, all you need is just that. You don't need, I don't, for this particular purpose, Capture has way more than what I need. Whoa. Hold it, wild horses. Let me get some of this over here. Now here on from the part
Hair from the part is coming up and over. So if my light's over here, then it's going to hit the part of that hair that's coming up. And then it goes over into darkness. The same thing here. If the light was up here, it would hit here for your lightest part. But it's over this way, so it's hitting down a little bit. Now, the other thing that I need to remind you of or tell you is that I'm, um, I'm working on unprimed canvas and absorbent paper. I thought that the matte medium I put this on with might help some, and I think it does some, um, but it's still soaking in, and that's why I can leave it from... Tuesday or whenever I worked on it to today and she's darker because remember I had that real light That's gonna bug me. I gotta get get another picture Okay. Get this on. I'm not gonna get the. Takes me a while to get into the art mood, so just bear with me here. Have some principles here in a day or two. measure it's close okay don't look at that one keep thinking I'm missing something with you guys. Got two chats. I've got my oops, what to do with it? Oh, there it is. I'll try that, Kitty, if I don't already have it, because I've I tend to work on stuff for a couple hours at night until I get cross-eyed, and then I may not get back to it when I should. All right, we've got to overall lighten, and we have to darken down. So let's just do this again.
going to go ahead and glaze over this red. I still want to see it, but it doesn't have to be this strong. This is all kind of part of using, uh, learning to use the medium, even though techniques are all the same. It still takes a little bit of time to figure it out. And I'm going to lighten this a little bit more with the straight yellow ochre. And we'll see where that gets us. I'm mixing just a little bit of burnt umber with raw sienna to give it a reddish tone. Now this is, you know, talk about the ball of the mouth. This is where that is. So again, the light's coming from my left. This side of the ball will be light. This side of the ball will be darker. And then this muscle group comes out from the jawline and curves up and down. So that's why this is a little bit darker. Yeah, a little bit of that. So here's a little bit of that light coming back in. And then there's the big ball, and then there's the little ball right here. So it's all anatomy. And this is why people get frustrated when they don't understand this isn't an hour-long process. This is a month-long process to paint portraits, if you do them right. This is in between. And that's supposed to be a little lighter than that. Now where I go over that wet dark I just put down, the color will mix on the paper. My red that I put in here is prettier, I think. Now it's not as in your face. Where are you going, baby? Where are you going?
looking at where the shapes since that's round where it, let me just what I'm looking at right here that doesn't show This is what I mean when I'm looking for a shape. I forgot to bring that across. This is one of the harder things to learn. So this dark shape right here is all one shape. I'm not painting a nose by drawing the nose and then filling it in like you would in a coloring book. I'm painting the shape of her face. Boy, that nose looks like. I'm painting the shape, and when I get the shapes done, then I'll have a, I'll have a portrait. Yeah, I think we're okay. Mm. Okay. So anyway, y'all get that? Yes or no? Once in a are we still on? Nobody's talking. Yeah, we're still on. Now, part of that nose problem is with color. very lightly glazing back into those darks of that shape. don't use much water I'm using a wet wipe and then on the palette I've got just a little bit of water like I sprayed it once and I'm dipping back into that spray so it's not like watercolor in that regard where you whiffle your brush up in the paint all of them I mean in the water
And this is a real dark because it's really far away from the light and then the nose picks up and comes back out. Went down in there with the sun no child. Remember I told you the other day, the nose has three balls. So that should be right there. Should Shadow should be on that little one. The little ball. And then the big ball at the end gets its lightest right there. Uh, check a measurement. Shit. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh. 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 My nose is too hot all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. I don't know why it is, but it measures that way. Let's see. I'm measuring from the little red spot in her eye to there. I have to find out where it is, or it's kind of like balancing a checkbook. Come on, come on, come on, right there. Not there. Right here. Yeah, you can kind of tell where mine's a little higher. Okay. Measure from the red part of the eye to under where the nose. Oops. Okay, so that's the position.
Mm -hmm. And the nose lines right up with that. We're going to get it. I brought stuff to work on because I know this is boring. That paint that I mixed up today was a little thick, which is fine, because I'm getting real close to being finished with this one. Look at that dang brush. Can't pay it with that. And Ian is right. If you've got a brush that's doing that, you can clamp it. Put a paper towel around it and clamp it. But sometimes when you've broken all the bristles off, This, this brush will make it into the encaustic. Yeah, once I make sure that I've got the nose right. Okay. Mm. 
when it's lining up with that eye. So if the nose and eye are correct, then the mouth is off. <laughs> Don't you love it? That's right there. So what the deal is, is the this little thing here, and I forget what it's called. I managed to scooch it over more towards center, and it's not. Let's see, this is still. I didn't paint that. I didn't draw that. Uh, no problem. That should come under here. a little bit of color and then this one comes down So that's right now and then adjust this just a hair much better hi there uh, she does not have sparkles in her eyes but I'm giving her one Because that kind of gives it a finished. Let's see how much of this is soaking in. Take a little bit of that cat red light. Mm, good, good. Put it on and you take it off. Now, 
The reason this is going to work is because it's the same value darkness as what I put on there earlier. And as long as it's the same value, I could put purple on there. It's beginning to stick. Let's use a little bit more of that down here to color it just a hair. Already gave her some purple lips. It's really nice right there let's see all right let me check with you guys um, yes Never claim to be. Ooh. She's looking kind of kind of good, I think. All right, let's work a little bit on here. Could have used coffee. I'm going to mix it up here where I had the, um, where I mixed the yellow ochre. use that up and then a little bit of a little bit of ultramarine to darken that kind of went green which I didn't really want but Green. Again, any color will work as long as it's the same value. I've got rose red in there now.
I just screwed up because she's got braids. Because here's her braid coming down. I'll move this. Y'all don't know what, what you're looking at. Turn off my brush every time I pull a little bit of the dark into the light. That way. Now we come back with so I don't paint hairs.
No, I couldn't hear. Now let's do this little part over here. Comes down thin, and then she's got a real narrow tail right here. Little teeny tiny conchos. Oh, now I need kind of a neutral. These are silver. And that will catch a little bit of light. Might help if you got paint on the brush. All righty, let me check with you guys. Not much going on. I appreciate you guys being here. Now I'm going to work on the uh, bottom part uh, right here. Now I'm going to look at, well, let's see. What are you going to do? You're such a big talker. This appears to be some sort of not quite black. Here, it looks like just it's probably some trial something. She's a princess. As soon as we finish this, we're going to go on to something a little faster.
need to move back. I wish I had some lotion and crimson. I could buy some now, but. This is raw canvas, so. This is coming down into her belt. And I've already got a lot going on with the colors. That's her hair. I wonder if we can.
Now, this is not about her belt. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now then. She has a little beaded uh, necklace on. Like that. Right. What do you think? I couldn't even see half the bottom. I'm sorry. I think her hair looks really good. I'm kind of known for doing good hair. <laughs> I might as well brag about myself. Alrighty. Now I'll have to come back to this again and make sure. Oops. Um, that those lights stay just about God. All right. I'm still sucking on my coffee. Hey, Bob. Am I muted? I didn't do anything. Now, this is. Oops. Um printables 
from art archaeology. That's what this is. Okay, let me get a picture. Is it me, Joycey? Okay, got a picture. Body, who am I going to put over she won't fall over? Yeah. Now, now. Okay, last night I came in here with my six by six gel plate and noticed it's got a crack in it. I've never had one do that. Doesn't matter. I mean, you know, I'm not making world class mono prints here for museum consumption. Anyway, that one. Looked like this. All sorts of stuff layered. It took me quite a while to get it loose. These are the prints that came off that 6x6 six six plate that was grungy. This has got a turn of the plate. That's probably how it cracked. Bending the plate, making the paint that on it crack, and then you've pulled a few with white and whatnot. So there's a little bit of white, and then you come back with the uh, Nicolazzo gold from Nicolazzo gold from Golden. It's a fluid, and you drip, drip it, just a thin coat, and it sinks down in those cracks. Ow. Isn't that awesome? And this one, ow, I've got a trigger finger. See that bruise? I mean, that swollen spot right there? And it hangs. Ah. And this is done with, I know the dark is micaceous iron oxide. But I'm trying to pull up all this goody stuff. So these will be good for printables. And I had a dickens of a time getting all that off. Some little side pieces. These are just scraps I had laid around. Even this is pretty. I did that just on the back of a print. Now, if I really wanted to goose this up a little bit, spray this and let it sit. Same here. So I put this on there that I had out the other day, and it didn't pull on the plate. Could be it's too old or it's too thick. More little scraps. They've got some neat little colors in them. Not much there. 
not much to see. That one's kind of nice. No point in printing on the back if you're using it. Now, that's from yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, my God. What's in it? So Every time for a desk cleaning again. Okay. 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 I need to clean my brayer. It's got oil on it. I got to look for my cat eyes. I spy with my little eye. Russell, Russell. Okay, okay. I promise I'm not buying the blankets from Arteza. I like the look. These are my patterns. Use that, use that, use that. Whew. Have a breath. Pulling out some of these that I can use. Okay, everybody with me? Oh, quiet. Yeah, I was trying to be, I got in the zone just a little bit. Okay, now the way that Miss Robin used these was by carefully brushing powders on her plate. And anytime there's anything new, you got to sit back and go, hmm. How did you really do that? Okay, here's a copper. I have had these for 15 years. Come on. And I need a turquoise. I don't need it. I want a turquoise. Russell, Russell.
Oh, that is blue. This is a 100% horsehair brush. It's a little, oh boy, you got a lot out that time. This, this may not be the best tool. I cleaned my plate really good, so. I don't remember what she did next. Oh, no. Well, I guess it has to do with paint, so let's just use some white paint. <laughs> nice soft colors. I'm not real sure that's what she got, but now let's do some. Excuse me. It's been a while since I've been in this bucket. I wonder where I put it. I don't know. Do you know where I put it? All right, we may not find it. We'll use my caser spoon. My case just iron oxide in place of black flash. These are, these are perfect pearls, and they're not as glittery as micas, even though I think there's mica in these. But some interesting colors. I like that. Let's do um, 
little bit of magicals. primary elements. What's your colors now? Green, so stay cool. Now that turquoise brush -o. Not sure I'm getting it. Put your tool down in there and see if I can get some. Of course, you know how this stuff is when it has water that to activate it. I'm down to about six inches of workspace. Woo, I, it's activating the magicals. And probably the brush -o too. All right, Gail, we'll see you later. Ooh. Some neat colors. Oops. Didn't put the lid on. That's not a good practice. Let's do... Let's get that up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I sound like you, Joyce. Titan Green Pale.
I've got too much pain. I know that. Still see some streakies of gold in there. I'm going to have to go back and watch Robin's. I printed both of those on the gold. But it works. Isn't that pretty? I love that color. I watch Robin's stuff at night. Her Patreon stuff. And then I have to go back and rewatch it. Like this little book thing I'm putting together. Alright, now let's let's try. Just for grins, let's try this eyeshadow from the Dollar Tree. Well, that may be empty because I spilled it all. No point in keeping that. Never fear. Well, it is now, although maybe we'll pass for time by the time. I know that comes off because I dropped them. There's some. Be clever, I must say. Let's try. This is Magicals Tiffany Lou's Blue. Does look like Tiffany, doesn't it? I didn't have to cover the whole thing. What color now, baby doll? Let's find some real black. Russian blue. Turquoise, I know better. It's gray wouldn't be bad. Last time I ordered a bunch of stuff, not a bunch, but I added a couple of tubes. Couple of bottles of gold, and these are still sealed up.
Not much. I must be doing something vastly different than. All right, now let's just do some white and see what we can get. was using some mag magicals and I think Robin was using some perfect pearls so I mean that's pretty cool but I see some brush of turquoise in there let's get a little bit more of that Salt shakers, here we come. I'm just going to leave those where they are. Oh, these uh, horsehair brushes are like 30 for $3 at Harbor Freight. Now that's too much. We know. Ooh, look at that turquoise brush. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love it when Vicky starts jelly biting. Now let's see what we get out of it. Are you still with me, Joycey? I think everybody else has left us. Those little tiny polka buddies of Russia. I wonder if they're still activate. Not so much because they're in a cloak, so. Yeah, they're, they're activating here with the. A bunch of it out. I'll find that stuff laying on here forever. I 
Better dark turquoise. Okay, I think I'm going to quit and go watch and see what the real pros are doing with it. Before I show my butt again, let's see. Let's just do one more with white. White. Let's do it with... Golden iridescent bronze. I told y'all before I'm not the best at trying stuff out. Paper, 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 where are you? I see what. I am a monkey. Monkey see, monkey do. okay but I don't see much benefit yet from using powders not much I bet you I figure it out. Joycey knows my mental problem. Uh -huh. This is probably going to be gross, but stop it. Something fell in my closet and the door keeps... I'm going to use the nickel aso just to get some jiggles. I did better yesterday cleaning the plate off. Okay, that's it. Not much. I love those two colors. I love things gray. There's some mica. I can see the mica. It's a little bit. And in this one, I can see the shiny. Maybe I, maybe it has to dry. All right, if that's the case, then let's do it. I like the colors here. I see the blue. It's mic it up. Not much here. These were the perfect pearls. I see a little bit in here, but not much.
a little bit. I looked at that one already. Brushos don't have mica in them though, so all they're going to do is put down the plate. Oh, no. That was still wet. We got some gold coming through. Robin's already got a technique, I know. So. You can see the gold there. That's from the bronze acrylic. A little streak, something right there. Okay. Well, we tried it. Now go find out how to really do it. Okie doke. Oops, here's one. Now that one you can see a lot. This was Magicals. Neat purple coming out there. That's coming from the inkjet. See what was damp. Those are an art form all by themselves. Where's the one I wet? Not much. See the purple coming through from the ink jar? It's coffee. All right, we'll look at that when I come back. Hey, Ian. You just about missed it. Um, Ian, here's what how the Navajo girl turned out. It looks like it's going to hold color-wise. We shall see. All righty. I'm going to go study and I will be back. And we'll study this some other time. You may have a new technique right here. We'll see. That's how things happen. Accidents. And I don't ever put myself in the position of having accidents. So there's that. Took pictures of her. I don't need pictures of that. Good. Okie dokie. You guys have a good Friday. And not that kind of good Friday. A wonderful Friday and weekend. And you never know, I may take a wild hair and come in here and do something. You never know. Um, I guess that's it. That's going to be cool. Okay, now I'm going to sign off. I love you guys. And I'll see you for sure next Tuesday. Bye. I love you.